with a video showing you how to set up your Slingbox to your home entertainment system so that you can watch your home cable or recorded DVR shows over the internet. In our case, we're setting up a Slingbox solo, but the steps should be very similar regardless of the Slingbox model that you have. And we're connecting it to a DirecTV receiver, but again, you should be able to connect it to any cable or satellite provider. To get the best quality video, you should use S-Video, but in our case, we're using the old three cable RCA cables. So just plug the uh, three cables into the output of your cable box. Plug the other end of the cables into the input of the Slingbox device. Next, plug the power cord into your Slingbox. Once you plug in the power, the power light to the Slingbox should be solid but the network light won't be on yet because we haven't connected the Slingbox to our network. To connect your Slingbox to your home network, you have a few options. If your home router is anywhere near your uh, cable box, then it's great. You can just plug in from your Slingbox directly into your um, home network router. But we don't have that option, so we've decided to connect wirelessly using a Linksys gaming adapter. So. The gaming adapter will connect to our network wirelessly and then the Slingbox will connect to the gaming adapter. This option has been successful with us and we've had no problems using the gaming adapter to connect to the Slingbox. So whatever device you're using, plug your regular uh, Cat5 network cable into the back of your network device and plug the other end into your Slingbox. Once you have network connectivity, the network light on your Slingbox device uh, should be a solid red. Now you should be ready to log into the Slingbox website. So just go to the website, select English, and select Watch. It's going to ask you to log in. If you have never logged into Slingbox, then you need to create an account. Um, if you already have an account, enter your user email address and your password to log in. In our case, the computer we were on had never um, connected to the Slingbox website, so we had to download the Slingbox Flash-like uh, player. Um, so if, if you have to do that, just uh, download it and install it. So after installing and logging in again, your Slingbox uh, website should bring you to a screen um, asking you to select the Slingbox model that you have. So in our case it found two Slingbox models. Uh, we had an older Slingbox model that we don't have anymore and it still has that on our account. And then the newer Slingbox Solo that we have um, is unconfigured so we need to configure it. So select it. And it should bring you to a screen um, telling you congratulations. They found it found your Slingbox on the network. So just select Next. It should bring you to this screen. Uh, so just then name your Slingbox, whatever you want to call it. Then enter a password twice. And hopefully the next thing you'll see is whatever you're watching on your television. Now just click the button that says set up your cable or satellite provider and your remote. In the first box you're going to select what type of service you have. Uh, we're going to say satellite. Then we're going to choose uh, uh, DirecTV. Now you're ready to choose your type of remote. This can get a little bit tricky, um, as it did in our case. So we saw the uh, our remote had a number RC65X. So taking a shot, um, in the drop-down we chose RCA in the drop-down box. It will do, display a model of your remote on the DirecTV website. Once the model was displayed, it was very clear that this was not the correct option for DirecTV. 
So then we looked at the back of our DirecTV box and we noticed that it had the model H25-500. So going back to the drop-down box, there was no H25, but there was an H24, so we tried that. And the remote that it displayed was a perfect match to our DirecTV remote. So we were successful. So now that we found the correct remote, uh, we need to set up the Slingbox so that it can actually change the channel of our DirecTV receiver. So direct, the Slingbox comes with these IR blasters um, so that you're able to change the channel. It comes with two, but we've only ever used one, um, so it's time to set those up. So plug one in into the Slingbox, into the um, IR port. Next we need to figure out where the receiver receives its IR signal. Um, so just shine a flashlight into the front of your receiver and you can clearly see um, where the panel opens up and receives the IR signal. So then just holding the IR blaster over that area on the DirecTV receiver and going back to the website and clicking the power button on the DirecTV remote should turn off the DirecTV receiver and turn off the power to the television. Then going back, pressing power again, turns on the DirecTV receiver and turns on the television. So we've found the location that the uh, IR blaster needs to be, so you can either peel the tape off and attach it to the receiver, or what we do is we get a piece of tape and just tape it down over to the receiver um, using the piece of tape. So the next thing that the website wants you to do is test the way that it sends the channel number to the receiver. So uh, just select the first one, which is 5. Um, select Test. In our case, DirecTV Channel 5 is not a valid channel. So as you can see, um, it sends the signal as 5, and it changes the channel to 5, but the channel on DirecTV is not available. But the point is, it did send the signal, so we're okay with uh, that selection. So then the last thing to do is select your zip code and again select your cable or satellite provider and this will um, allow the guide that you're seeing uh, to be the correct guide for your area. Now that's it if you want to just watch your sling box from your home network while you're attached to your home network like on your porch or something. But If you want to watch um, your sling box from outside of your home which most people want to do You'll need to access your home router settings and open up port 5001 to your Slingbox, which in our case was 192.168.1.254. Opening this port up allows you to access your Slingbox from outside of your home network. And that's it. You should be able to go to the DirecTV website, say Watch TV, and be able to see what is on your television screen. And from that point, you can do whatever you could do from your couch. You can access the remote. You can maximize the screen. You can press the guide. And so forth. That concludes this video. I hope it was helpful. For other videos like this, refer to my website at